Hey guys, Balkan Arctic here and in today's tutorial I'm going to be showing you how to do solar radiation analysis using Revit. So inside of Revit we're going to be finding a project and then applying this solar radiation analysis so you can figure out how much sunlight is going to be hitting all of the surfaces on your on your project and by that you can then determine the size of your windows and stuff like that or maybe you'll decide to put more vegetation more trees around your buildings and for this we're going to be using the insight plugin which is a completely free plugin but before I get started with the tutorial I would just like to ask you to like this tutorial it helps me out a lot and if you haven't already I suggest you subscribe because I make tutorials like this every day and follow me on social media I post there as well okay anyway so here we are this is the website this is the link and I'm going to be leaving this link in the description of the video so you can just go there and download and install this Insight plugin so you just go here and you find the version of Revit you're using I'm using Revit 2019 so you just hit here download and then it's basically the same process as any other installation for any other software so I'm just going to skip that and I've already installed it on Revit and for the project I'm just going to be using this uh, RAC which is Revit Architectural Advanced Sample Project this comes with pretty much every version of Revit you can uh, you can download so this is what I'm going to be using and the way you find this on your computer is you go here to open and then uh, you go to let's go to my computer and you go to local disk C then you go to program files you find Autodesk then you search for the version of Revit you have which for me is 2019 this is the one that that's opened up right now and then you just search over here and you find samples so you just double click on samples and here you've got a bunch of different samples so you can and check these out these are actually quite useful to kinda research and figure out how they work so anyway so I'm just going to be using this uh, RAC uh, advanced sample project so you just double click and you open it open it up just make sure to uh, not save anything on this project because you don't want to ruin the the sample file you get with uh, with Revit but anyway you get this project and I'm immediately going to go into 3d and this is what we have and I'm just going to change this maybe to hidden line just to make it a bit easier on Revit to, to navigate but anyway so this is the project that we're going to be using and when you install the Insight uh, plugin uh, it's not here with the add-ins it's actually here when you go to analysis or analyze and you've got this kind of analysis uh, options so I'm just going to go with solar analysis open this up and this is what you get you get this little dialogue over here so anyway this works uh, only in 3d views and only in these uh, parallel projection 3d views so you can't really use camera views so if you're going over here you can't use camera you need to use the the default 3d view for this type of analysis but and it doesn't work in any floor plans or sections but I'm going to show you a trick how to bypass that but anyway so this is the this is the dialog box we have so first you need to select the surfaces that you want to do analysis on because you're not really going to be doing analysis on windows and stuff like that you you want to make sure that just the these large surfaces you want to make sure to see what uh, what uh, what is the effect of the sun on those surfaces so what I'm going to do is I'm just going to go here and use the select tool and you just uh, let's close out of this let's just select surfaces that we want to test out so let's do this wall this wall over here maybe this small wall let's see do we have any more walls this one this one as well and on this side we have this thing and uh, not just walls I like to do kind of these uh, floors inside so I'm just going to be doing these wait a minute okay okay it's I guess it's selected Anyway, so you uh, you select all of the surfaces you have, and this is usually great to do before you've placed all of the windows because this will kind of give you an idea of how many windows you you need to have and where do you want to place them. But anyway, once you've selected everything, you go over here and you find this finish option. So you hit that, and it you wait for a second. Okay, so now it knows what to calculate. So now you need to adjust some 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 sun settings. Some sun settings. That's actually quite hard to pronounce. But anyway, you go here to the uh, sun path dialog and you open up sun settings. 
and you get this uh, this year window and basically you're going to be using single day uh, so you're going to be using doing analysis for the whole day and let's use summer solstice for this project and just make sure that sunrise to sunset is checked over here and you hit apply and you hit OK and now you can can I uh, open this drop menu up and then here you can change the the type of analysis you want to run so you can go this cumulative uh, insulation you can do peak insulation you can do average insulation and here you you choose which uh, which are the units you want to measure in and then for the style this is an interesting one so for the style you can go over here and let's say we want to use the default you can go to color and then you can see all the colors that Revit is going to be using to represent uh, whatever the, the sun uh, illumination values are so you can change these colors if you want I like to keep them as standard with uh, at what you get with uh, the software and here you've got some legends because Revit is actually going to be generating this legend so you can kinda change the dimension of the text when you when you go and uh, kind of place this on a worksheet and you want to print this out but anyway if I hit here OK and go over here and hit update update means it's basically going to start running the analysis so you just give it a little moment to calculate everything and you wait for a second and there you go so we've got this analysis and if you can see over here in the corner this is the the diagram we get so this is it looks kind of weird in 3D uh, when you orbit around you can't really uh, you, you, it's hard to figure out where it is, but anyway, you you'll get the hang of it, and then you'll you'll be able to locate it in space. So it's okay. Cancel out of that. Okay, if you orbit it too much, it will turn off. So anyway, let's let's just update this, and then wait for a second. Okay, here we are. This the analysis are back. And okay, we need to add the the surfaces again. So let's add these floors first, maybe like that. This one as well. Cancel out of that. Go finish update, and let's see what we get. Okay, so it's actually great to see the the actual surfaces and how they cope with sunlight. But anyway, let's say you like this. You like this 3D view, but it's not enough for you to see 3D view. You want to actually see the the floor plan in action and to see how does uh, sunlight affect the inside of the building and how do you do that well because you need to use this default parallel projection 3d view what you need to do is you need to go here let's close out of this dialog and let's go to some elevation let's go maybe south elevation okay so you've got your south elevation and you go here to the camera view and you choose the camera but instead of creating a basic regular camera I'm just going to go here and turn off perspective so this is parallel projection camera so I'm just going to come over here and we're going to be doing this at level what is this level two three third floor level three I don't know and just kinda pull it down make sure that you're as perpendicular as possible so I'm just going to kinda eyeball it and let's see okay this works and you get something that looks like this okay it's it's rarely going to be perfectly kinda orbited around but you get the point so you get this floor plan and it's actually not going to be cutting through like uh, using a section box you don't have section box turned on over here so now if I run Sun analysis if I go here to analysis solar analysis wait for a second for it to start Okay, so now if I choose surfaces, and I'll just like to use this, the main uh, floor surface, you don't really have to select anything else. So you go there, you select that, you hit finish, and uh, now let's, let's wait for a second. Okay, let's leave the settings at what they are, no, no need to change them. And if I hit here update, it will now color this floor plan, and you will see where the sunlight is actually entering. And okay, you can't orbit too much. Okay, that's maybe a downside of this. Let's cancel out of this. Yeah, if I select this and just go finish. Okay, update. It's kind of, yeah, and as you can see here we're having some sunlight entering the 
the room over here over here as well so you can use this to maybe make some design decisions as you can see over here we've got some some louvers so maybe you would like to eliminate those louvers to get more sunlight over here maybe here you've got too much sunlight so you want to change that but anyway you're going to be using these uh, these floor plans that you get to kind of make some uh, interesting design design decisions okay but anyway that's it for this tutorial for doing this solar radiation analysis in Revit using the Insight plugin the link for the plugin is in the description of this video thank you for watching please subscribe like and share this video and if you have any questions comments or suggestions for future tutorials please make sure to leave them in the comment section below thank you for watching and have a nice day